when COVID struck, not only the opposite side of the world, but the U.S. and specifically Utah was in March. And we were preparing not only for our Spring Orchestra's concert, but also to attend the American College Dance Association Conference. We had to let everything go. We had to let go of a lot of student work. And in doing so, you could see that our students, they were broken. Eric and I probably met every other day, working through ideas of what is possible, what can we do, how can we move forward, how can we be innovative, but yet still be safe with our students, still think about their health, still think about our health, and provide our audiences a way to see dance. How do we allow our student choreographers to not miss out on opportunities, but also to keep their creative mindset going? The dancers are collaborators. This is about students being really creative and persisting through barriers, conceptual, physical, logistical, and being flexible, and they are. It's good to watch this because the students have created so many different points of view that there's always gonna be something different that you, that you watch. And uh, from something that's quite soothing to something that's surprising and maybe challenging. The work that they are going to present is so beautiful and it's so moving and it's so true to what is right now and especially with this connection to sustainability and the artist that they're working with is Jim Jacobs. He has created these amazing sculptures that are just to see those pieces alone are so moving emotionally and also it's, it wants to get you to move and I think that's what it's going to do for the audience.